for this painting video, I created an ancient Egyptian archer. A jackal or a Sahara Desert as indicated by the pyramid. I use the same subjects like painting of the sun jackal, the jackal and the moon, and the surreal landscape. But this time it has pyramid. I chose the archer because by the time I'm drawing this, I have thought of goals in life. Starting with targeting 100 paintings, by which this is the 61st, and make videos for each. Then I have thought about what I want most out of life and places I want to travel. I want I want to finish 100 paintings to improve both my skills in painting and video production. It is really hard to paint while shooting video at the same time. At the beginning, one is compromise. It's either you ha you'll have a good painting or a bad video or vice versa. But for sure, I will learn both soon. For my life, I want to create a passive income and eventually make it my bread and butter. Currently, I rely on my clients. Someday, I can reverse my freelancing formula by generating income through one-time production with continuous return on investment. But of course, uh, it requires a lot of effort. For the, for the places I want to travel, well, Obviously, Egypt, Latin America, and Iran. I am more into Asian countries. I'm actually planning to <laughs> create a series of travel paintings, which I imagined that I was already there. Wish me luck. I'll be explaining more of the details when I started on the first video series. Going back to the subjects, I made some research on how Egyptians archers looks. You can find lots of costume from movies. So the ar the archer has a name's vest and Adidas Stan Smith. And of course it's always influenced by Jack Starida's deconstruction Churi. And Adidas sneakers walking back to the past. He is shooting somewhere, but we, the viewers, may never know what's the target. Okay. It cannot be the moon because it's at the back. Adjacent to the archer is the black back jackal on a relaxed mode staring at him. Probably thinking what is he shooting at the middle of the night. At the back is the Saqqara Step Pyramid. It is my second attempt to paint a pyramid because it is really hard to do so. My first painting are Giza Pyramids which is a bit messy but this time I'm happy compared to what I painted before. Challenging part are the bricks and the sand eroding from the steps. I also made the left part shadowy to give dimensions to it. One time, a redditor commented on my painting telling that it looks flat. I am sure to put shadows now. I found Sakara Pyramid interesting. I watched a documentary in Netflix about Sakara. The archaeologists found lots of mummified cats and skeletons of a royal family. One archaeologist said after digging the mummified cats, even his pet cats avoid him. Sounds very strange. Another trivia is that I was reading an old book about Egypt creation story. Surely there are topics about pyramids. One story said that thought the Egyptian god of wisdom stored the documents in the pyramids inside before the deluge. The other one is that Saqqara pyramid is a replica of the Tower of Babel in Babylon after the deluge story. 
fascinates me because I have a painting of the deluge and I also love the story of Tower of Babel. Legend tells that Babylon's built a stairway to heaven. The full moon I covered a bit of black blue sky. The night sky here is a bit darker compared to my previous paintings. And I made lots of adjustment in the horizon that makes it bigger. Another challenging part is the sand on the ground. The way the sand behaves is like it is being excavated. I made the sand as if they are eroding towards the center. I am happy also that with the output and that I was I will improve this with my continuous painting. Before posting it in my favorite social network, Reddit Egypt, I made a motion graphics of it. Actually, it's a GIF. So, I actually made the archer shooting an arrow. So, first frame, the jackal would say, Awoo. Then, the archer shoot the arrow. And it's like it hit something and said, Hey! Uh, I also applied some, I think that's burned effect. So, I just love this effect. Um, but I only received 25 votes here. And one Redditor with the name of... Hold a second. So, it's need three... Need some answers. He asked, is he wearing sneakers? I said, yep. Then he said, amazing how concept art is so widespread these days. I said, try to check Derrida. Well, I only have one comment, but it has impact to me. So I just searched on this concept art and I realized that this is what I'm doing the whole time. Um... It's like creating an environment. Concept art is creating an environment, a character that is based on what you have in mind. And this is often more on digital painting. Matte painting in particular. So I, was, I got curious and I made digital matte painting which I would discuss on my next video. And I received another compliment from my Instagram follower that is Angel's Portrait. Um, he said, yes, it's nice. The night mood is really nice. Hope you can create a bigger image of nightlife in ancient Egypt. Uh, well, that's a cool idea and I need to make a research more on that. And I thought of painting on a canvas because um, it will take a lot of space and details. Sometimes if the if the surface or the paper or the canvas is small, so you might do some details. So I was thinking of creating a bigger picture.
So I hope you like my painting video of the archer. So I wish it inspired you to paint and create arts every day. By the way, I'm a graphic designer. I also create websites, motion graphics, and video editing. So to know more about my services, please visit my website sanjakal.com to see the gallery of my artworks also. Thank you for watching.